Are you someone who just opened a Revolut account or even thinking about it? Then one of the best things about Revolut is its clean and simple app. But it's not just another banking app. This is a full on financial management platform and knowing how to use it effectively can make a big difference in how you handle your money day to day. I've been a Revolut customer for over a year now. And in this video, I'm going to take you through the Revolut app step by step. You will know exactly what to expect, how to set it up and how to start using it like a pro from day one. Let's get started. If you are new here, my name is Srijit and this channel is all about optimizing our lives so we can make the most out of our money and the limited time we have here on this beautiful planet. First things first, let's see how you can open a new account. It's surprisingly simple. No paperwork, no long forms. And the best part, in most cases, no credit check is involved. But you still have to satisfy some basic requirements. You need to be at least 18 years old and you need to have a valid ID, like your passport. And finally, a mobile phone. Because you can only open a new account through your phone, not the website. So head to the App Store and download the Revolut app. Once that's done, just enter your phone number. You get a code via SMS that you can use to verify your number. Then you will fill in some basic details like your name, date of birth, address and the country you live in. Then you will take a photo of your identification document and a quick selfie right inside the app to complete the identity verification. Finally, you will be asked to set a pin to keep your account secure. The entire process took me less than 10 minutes. Now, once all this is done, your application will be under review and within a few hours, you will have your first Revolut account. Once your account is approved, you can log into the app using your PIN. And once you log in, you land on the home screen. Now tap your initials in the top left corner to go to your personal settings. On top, you can see your unique Revolut username, the one that others can use to send you money directly. You only get to change it once, so pick something smart. You also get a QR code to share with others and you can also upload a profile picture if you want people to recognize it's you when sending or receiving money. And below, you will find your account details, inbox, privacy options, and some themes in case you want to customize the app. Now, the bottom navigation bar is pretty straightforward. The big R button is your main feed. That's where you will see your account balances and recent transactions. To get started with Revolut, the first thing you need to do is to add money to your account. Just tap the add money button and choose how much and how you want to add. You can tap change to pick your credit method. Personally, I just use Apple Pay. It's fast and easy, but you can also go with a regular bank transfer or even use a credit card. And here is something cool. There's an option to set up automatic top ups. So let's say your balance drops below 200 euros. You can have Revolut auto refill your account so you never run out of funds. If you have got multiple accounts or currencies, you can easily switch between them. And if you want to exchange currencies, then just tap the arrow button next to your balance and pick the one you want to use. You can see your account number and other details by tapping on the bank icon on the right. You can also easily add a new account or currency by just clicking on the three dots and selecting add new account. You can also exchange currencies here. Just tap the exchange button, pick the two currencies, say Euro to USD, and it will show you the exact rate and how much you will get. Now the second tab takes you to the invest section where you can access a range of investment options including stocks, ETFs, bonds, commodities and more. Everything is laid out in a user friendly way. To get started, just tap trade and you can search for a specific stock or ETF. When you're ready to invest, tap buy, enter how much you want to put in and that's it. Similarly, to invest in commodities, go to the commodities tab, browse the list and select the one you are interested in. Tap buy, choose your amount and complete the transaction. The arrow tab below is for sending or receiving money. If the receiver is already on Revolut, then you can just use the username which makes it super easy. If not, you can send it directly to the bank account, to a card or even a crypto wallet. Enter the destination currency, the personal details, the amount and the reason for sending. Once you confirm with your security code or SMS, the money is sent. The money usually arrives within seconds and you will see it right away in your transfer history. And if you are sending something regularly, like a rent or a subscription, you can also set up recurring payments. Just pick the schedule, the amount and timing and Revolut takes care of it for you. Now, there is another easy and convenient way to receive money through Revolut. Let's say someone owes you money, but they are not on Revolut. You can just create a payment link send it to them and they can pay you directly by entering the card details. No account is needed on the side and the money lands in your Revolut account in seconds. And there is also a dedicated space for Rev points where you can track how many points you have earned from your spending 
and also explore different ways to redeem them. Also, you can find everything related to your cards in one place. You can manage all your active cards, create a new one, grab the card number for online shopping or instantly freeze it if something feels off. Then there is the analytics section which lets you track your income and expenses over any time period. Revolut breaks everything down by categories, countries and even individual merchants, making it super useful if you are trying to figure out where your money is actually going. You can also tap on budget to set a spending cap and, and even assign limits to specific categories like food, transport or shopping. Another cool thing, you can actually link your other bank accounts right inside the Revolut app. Just go to the add account section, then to the link tab and pick your bank from the list. Once it's connected, all your transactions from that account show up alongside everything else. So you get a complete view of your finances all in one place, no switching between apps. So whether you are looking to manage your money smarter, invest with a few taps or just want a banking experience that actually feels like it belongs in 2025, Revolut is the app to beat. It's fast, sleek and is one of the best apps I've ever used for digital banking. If you want to know more about Revolut's features and the different plans they offer, I've made a separate video where I break all that down in detail. You can check it out here. I hope you got some value from this video. If yes, then give it a like and do subscribe to the channel to see more videos on saving money and building wealth. Until I see you with another video, have a wonderful rest of the day and adios.